we go up into that lift over there. But before we do that, I never did go left over here, and I do want to show what is over here. I'd rather just go over here and see what's over here. We got a battle. You look suspicious. I won't let you go in, he says. Or she says, excuse me, sorry, I thought you were a boy from a distance. You know, your costumes do look rather similar. I apologize. And back here, it's just a dead end, really. You just have a pointless battle that is nothing but a dead end after it's all over. It's really weird that that's there, but it... I don't know. I don't get it. All right. Here we go. Check it out! Entering by elevator once again! Oh, oh, you are so that little boy who ran off with Professor Crane! Because of what you did, Master Grievel was oh so angry! It made everyone miserable, and it's so all your fault! But it's okay now, we don't need Professor Crane anyway! I just needed to go- I just needed to be serious just a little tiny bit to get XD001's final adjustments just right. It is so perfect now! Purification will so not work on it, ever! I am so amazed because I am so a genius! Oh, you wanna see my XD001? Oh, so sorry! That is so not possible! Why? Because... Ugh! I am so going to defeat you, little boy. Here I come! That awkward moment when you realize that she is boss of the Cypher Scientist when you look at her costume. Yeah. Lavrina has struck back for another round! Yeah. I think I'll be perfectly fine if I just Ice Beam it with Mustache and I use a Thunder on Gardevoir. That should give me absolutely no trouble at all. Here we go! Bolt from a god! Specifically Thor the Thunder God. Oh, wow. I know Gardevoir's got good special defense, but I didn't think it would actually survive that. Uh-oh. Crap, was I wrong? Uh-oh. That It's totally going to use a Grass Attack on me and finish me off. No, Leech Seed! Well, it did use a Grass Attack on me. If it finishes... Why would you do that? Uh, wow, um, I am having a very... Wow, Mustache really should not have survived this long into the fight. Like, I don't want to jinx this. Oh, great. It, no, no. Am I going to lose to a Farfetch'd? Or not lose to a Farfetch'd, but... Okay, no. Shadow Panic doesn't do that. Just confuses. Okay, good. Perfectly fine. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's a double confuse. For whatever reason, I thought it was an attacking move, but... Yeah, it is a double confuse. That is a good move, not gonna lie. Uh, I guess at the very least, if you're raising a Farfetch'd, you gave it something not awful. <laughs> sure enough, Farfetch'd defeated Mustache while I was trying to catch it. I don't feel too bad about that, but it still kind of hurts a little bit. One, two, three. Gotcha! It only took three Ultra Balls. One, two, three. The pathetic Farfetch'd is mine. I remember way, way back in the days of Fire Red, I didn't give Farfetch'd a bio, and people were really, really pissed off that I didn't, just because I said it was so pathetic I didn't deserve one. Oh, boo! Now look what you've done! Don't you mean now look what I've so done? Yeah, not quite so funny now that I'm doing it to you, huh? Huh? I... That was awkward. Oh, you're terrible! I mean, really! Master Grieve will be oh so cross with me again! Ooh, how I so dislike you! I'll be glad, little boy, when Master Grievel and XD001 make you pay! Anyway, to the lift. What should I say? To the drop. We are going down. And, oh, that is so cool, look at that whirlpool in there. This is a proper research facility, sweetie. A little guy like you shouldn't be in here. Well, Bastille. Sounds kind of like Bastille in French, though, but I'm kind of thinking of something far more naughty than that that I could call her. Um, I will just say this much. I certainly hope that a Japanese man never hopes, never tries to call you by name at any point in your life. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Rain Dance once again, just because that worked out for me really well last time. I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt on Crobat. I'm probably gonna get out. Actually, I probably won't get out of it. No, I'm perfectly fine. You know, this brings me to something that I've wanted to talk about for some time. My Voltaire. When I was thinking about it, I was considering not naming him Voltaire, just because I was thinking I might make myself sad whenever I see it, because you guys know the story. I wasn't allowed to be friends with this one guy that I knew in 
the high school, and it was like he was a good friend of mine for a long time, and we were big friend, we were big fans of XD and Coliseum, and I just always think of him whenever I play these games over the years, and to this day I do still miss him. But even though I thought it might make me sad, I'm kind of glad that I did name him that. I know that having a Jolteon named the same thing as my friend is not any replacement for him, nor is it having him back or anything like that, but. He was a very good friend of mine, and I do still miss him to this day. And it's just, it's been kind of comforting in a way, having Volterra by my side. I guess just kind of having just having my Pokemon name that. It's been kind of comforting in a way, having my Pokemon name Volterra. I just, what I like to think is that somehow, some way, maybe he saw one of these videos by random chance. And he knows I didn't forget him, or he knows that what his parents told him was lies if they told him that I was like a bad person, I was trying to hurt him or something like that, because he went along with it rather quickly, and it makes me think that maybe his parents did something like that, and I don't know. It's just very comforting, and it also helps that Voltaire has been very trusty. He's been very, very reliable throughout our entire journey. Paralyze the shadow Pokemon, makes them nice and easy to catch. He is a perfect partner. For somebody trying to snag the Shadow Pokemon back from the bad guys, and I can't think of a time that Volterra ever really let me down. He always did exactly what I wanted him to in battle, always been very reliable, and that is not changing anytime soon with this Rain Dance Thunder combination I got going on here. He is utterly obliterating this Cypher Peon's team. She doesn't stand a chance. And it just all in all feels very good that I named this Pokemon that has done so much good for me, and just so much good for everyone in this land of Ore, after my friend. That's just something that I've wanted to say for a while now, just because it's kind of been building up throughout our journey. I I'm sorry for losing so easily. Don't be sorry. You just fell at the hands of my almighty Volterran mustache. Ha ha ha! Ah, uh, it feels good having team members like them. I hope Dodrio was able to live up to them as well, because, man, I I've had a really, really reliable team this time around. Granted, I've had Billy Bob have some pretty bad misses, and I had Jinzo not one-hitting stuff, barely, though, but Jinzo's more defense. That's it, though. We defeated Lavrina. We had a sentimental moment. Uh, some of you might think it's sappy, though, but it's something I felt like I needed to say. And, uh...